Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Comparator Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Fleming. Today, we're focusing on one of the most essential devices you can have in your medicine cabinet, a blood pressure monitor. Why is this so important? Because the accuracy of these measurements can literally save lives. And today, I've invited an expert who knows everything about this topic. Please welcome Mary Forgioni, a specialist in the quality and safety of premium medical devices. Mary, it's great to have you here. Hi, Chris. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Here are five premium blood pressure monitors that could be perfect for home use. The Omron Platinum BP5450, Withings BPM Connect, Bure BM85, Bosch & Siemens Healthcare BDI80, and the A&D Medical UA767PBT-C. Mary, could you tell our listeners what technical parameters we'll be diving into to pick the best blood pressure monitor in its class? Chris, as always, straight to the point. Here are some key aspects to consider when comparing these devices. Measurement accuracy, cuff type, features and technology, like whether the model has arrhythmia detection or supports automatic cuff pressure adjustment. We'll also look at memory capacity, screen size, power source, and finally, the cost of each device. And you think this information will be enough to choose the champion among blood pressure monitors? Absolutely enough. In that case, let's not waste any time. You're listening to Comparator, and we're about to dive into the technical evaluation of our contenders for the title of the best premium blood pressure monitor. Stay with us. There's a lot of exciting stuff ahead. Mary, let's start with the most crucial aspect. Why is measurement accuracy the key parameter when choosing a blood pressure monitor? especially if we're talking about premium models. Absolutely, Chris. When it comes to health, accuracy is everything. Imagine that incorrect readings could lead to a wrong diagnosis. That means the treatment could be prescribed incorrectly and the consequences could be very serious. This is especially important for people with chronic conditions who rely on regular and accurate blood pressure measurements. And that brings us to the measurement technologies. I've heard that different monitors use different technologies. Can you tell us more about that? Of course. The most common technology is oscillometry. Most modern blood pressure monitors use this method. It's a technique where the device measures the oscillations in the air pressure within the cuff as it deflates. However, we have models that take it a step further and come equipped with additional features like dual sensors, Dual sensors? Is that like two heads being better than one? In a way, yes. For example, the Omron Platinum BP5450, which we're discussing today, uses advanced accuracy technology. This monitor has a dual sensor that double checks the measurement results to eliminate errors. It's like having a second opinion to ensure the most accurate result. So Omron really stands out among the other models. What about competitors like Withings or Burr? What can you tell us about them? The Withings BPM Connect is also a solid model, but it doesn't have a dual sensor like the Omron. Yes, it integrates well with mobile apps, which is convenient, but in terms of pure measurement accuracy, it falls a bit short. The Burer BM85 also uses standard oscillometry and additionally checks for arrhythmias, which is certainly useful. But when it comes to accuracy, Omron leads the pack. All right, and what about other models like Bosch and Siemens or A&D Medical? They have their own reputation, too. Absolutely. The Bosch and Siemens Healthcare BDI-80 is also good. It features advanced oscillometric technology, but the lack of a dual sensor places it a step below Omron in terms of accuracy. As for the A&D Medical, it's a reliable model with a long history of production, but it also can't match the accuracy without a dual sensor. So to sum it up, it seems like the Omron Platinum BP5450 is indeed the best choice when it comes to accuracy. Would you agree? Yes, Chris, that's correct. If accuracy is your priority, the Omron Platinum BP5450 is definitely the blood pressure monitor to consider. Excellent. Mary, thank you for your valuable insights. We've taken the first step toward choosing the perfect blood pressure monitor, but this is just the beginning. There's a lot more ahead. Stay with us, folks, and find out what truly makes medical devices the best in their class. Hi, everyone. 
Just a quick reminder, we have Mary Forgione in the studio today, an expert in the quality and safety of premium medical devices. And today, we're going to talk about how to choose the best blood pressure monitor. I suggest we start by discussing the cuff type, because as far as I understand, a cuff isn't just a piece of rubber that wraps around your arm. It's actually a crucial component that affects the accuracy of the readings, right? That's absolutely correct, Chris. The cuff is not just an accessory, but a critical part of the blood pressure monitor. If it doesn't fit properly, the results won't be accurate. The cuff needs to be the right size and fit snugly around the arm without causing discomfort. So if my cuff is too small or too large, my blood pressure monitor might give me incorrect readings. That could be dangerous. Exactly. A cuff that's too small might compress the arm too much, leading to higher readings. Conversely, one that's too large could underestimate the pressure. It's essential that the cuff matches the circumference of your arm to ensure the most accurate results. All right, let's take a look at a few popular models. I see here the Omron Platinum BP5450, Withings BPM Connect, Burr BM85, Bosch & Siemens Healthcare BDI80, and A&D Medical UA767PBC. Which one would you say is the best? All of these models are excellent. But if we're talking about cuff type, Omron and Bosch and & Siemens stand out. Their cuffs are designed to fit arm circumferences from 22 to 42 centimeters. This wide range makes them versatile, suitable for people with both regular and larger arm sizes. So, Omron Platinum and Bosch and & Siemens have an edge due to their versatility. Exactly. The wide range of cuff sizes makes these models leaders in accuracy and comfort for taking measurements. And that's crucial when we're talking about something as important as blood pressure. Well, it seems like we have two clear favorites, but that's just the start of our discussion. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, listeners. Continuing our discussion, let's dive into the features and technologies of modern blood pressure monitors. You might think, what could be so complicated about a blood pressure monitor? Just put on the cuff, press a button, and that's it. But no, it turns out premium class isn't just about a high price tag. Let's break down why these devices are truly worth their cost. You're right, Chris. Premium blood pressure monitors are packed with a whole arsenal of technologies that make them more than just devices for measuring blood pressure. They're genuine tools for health monitoring. This is especially crucial for those who actively track their health through mobile apps and want to be sure of the accuracy of their data. So let's start with the arrhythmia detection feature. Honestly, I didn't even know a blood pressure monitor could detect arrhythmia. How does that work? It's a really cool feature. If the monitor detects an irregular pulse, it immediately sends an alert. The user then knows something is off and can quickly consult a doctor. For example, the Omron Platinum BP5450, Biura BM85, Bosch & Siemens Healthcare BDI80, and A&D Medical UA767PTSC, all these models have this feature, which can truly be life-saving. But the Withings BPM Connect, if I understand correctly, doesn't have this feature. That might be a drawback for people at risk of heart disease, right? Yes, that's definitely a downside. For those at risk of cardiovascular diseases, having an arrhythmia detection feature can be critically important. The absence of this feature in the Withings model makes it a less favorable choice in this segment. Got it. Now let's talk about automatic measurement. Anything automatic is always good, right? Which models excel in this area? Absolutely. Automatic pressure regulation in the cuff is not only convenient, but also ensures accuracy. Almost all the models we're discussing have this feature. The Omron Platinum BP5450, Withings BPM Connect, Burr BM85, Bosch and & Siemens, and A&D Medical all provide comfortable and precise measurements by automatically adjusting the cuff pressure. Ah, that's why it's important. All right, moving on. Data connectivity and synchronization. This is a must-have if, like me, you want to monitor everything through your smartphone. Who has the advantage here? The Omron Platinum BP5450 is definitely ahead. It supports Bluetooth synchronization with the Omron Connect app, which is very convenient and reliable. But the Withings BPM Connect is even better. It uses both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to sync with the HealthMate app. 
Unfortunately, other models, like Burr and A&D, have less stable Bluetooth synchronization, which can be inconvenient for users. So to sum up, is the Omron Platinum BP5450 our top pick? Yes, the Omron Platinum BP5450 combines all the essentials. Arrhythmia detection, precise automatic measurement, and reliable data synchronization. In terms of features and technologies, it's truly the best choice if you want it all. Well, Mary, thanks for your expert analysis. Friends, it looks like we have a clear favorite, but our comparison isn't over yet. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the Comparator Podcast, everyone. As always, I'm Chris Fleming. We're continuing our deep dive into the world of premium blood pressure monitors, and today we have Mary Forgioni with us, an expert in the quality and safety of medical devices. You know, Mary, while preparing for our discussion, I read that the memory of a blood pressure monitor is crucial. I mean, what's the point of having accurate data if there's no place to store it, right? Absolutely, Chris. The memory of a blood pressure monitor is a very important factor, especially for those who regularly track their blood pressure. The more results you can store, the better you can understand the trends and respond to any changes in a timely manner. Let's get straight into it. We have a few models here. Let's start with the Omron Platinum BP5450. I heard it's a beast when it comes to memory. Is that true? You're absolutely right. The Omron Platinum BP5450 is impressive with its memory capacity. It can store up to 200 readings for each of two users. That's 400 records in total. Imagine the amount of data you can collect and analyze. This is particularly useful for families where multiple people are measuring their blood pressure. Wow, that's like a family blood pressure archive, no less. What about the Wethings BPM Connect? I understand it has its own twist with cloud storage. Yes, Withings takes a different approach. It only stores eight readings in the device's internal memory, which is quite limited. But its strength lies in syncing with the cloud service via the HealthMate app. Essentially, the monitor's memory isn't limited because all the data goes to the cloud and is stored there. This is a convenient option for those who don't want to worry about storing data on the device itself. Got it. So if you want everything stored in the cloud, Withings is a great choice. How about the Burrer BM85? The Burrer BM85 offers storage for 60 readings per user, totaling 120 records. That's certainly less than the Omron, but it's sufficient for most users. However, if you need long-term data storage and app synchronization isn't for you, this memory capacity might feel limited. So for long-term monitoring, Burrer might not be ideal. What's next on our list? The Bosch and Siemens Healthcare BDI-80, it also supports 60 readings, right? Yes, that's correct. The BDI-80, like the Burr, stores up to 60 readings per user. This covers a few weeks or maybe months of regular measurements. But if you need to keep data for a longer period, you'll have to frequently delete old records or transfer them elsewhere. Right, so you'll have to choose, either regularly clear out the memory or transfer the data. Not an easy choice, especially if you don't want to bother with it every month. And finally, the A&D Medical Uitin PBTC. It's also got limited memory, doesn't it? Yes, the A&D Medical can store just 60 readings for one user. That's less than its competitors and could be an issue if you need to track your blood pressure over several months. However, if short-term monitoring is all you need, then this would be sufficient. Got it. So if we sum it all up, the Omron Platinum BP5450 is once again in the lead with its massive memory capacity. Exactly. Omron is the best choice if you need to store a lot of data on the device. But if you prefer working with cloud services, then the Withings BPM Connect is worth considering. Thanks, Mary, for your expert insights. Friends, make your choice. Pick the blood pressure monitor that suits you best and stay with us. There's much more exciting stuff ahead. You know, Mary, something that caught my attention. The screen and interface might seem like secondary factors when choosing a blood pressure monitor, but they can either make using the device a breeze or a total nightmare, right? Exactly, Chris. The screen and interface are what you interact with every time you use a blood pressure monitor. 
If the screen is hard to read or the interface is confusing, it can be a real hassle. So choosing a device that's easy and straightforward to use isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. Let's start with the Omron Platinum BP5450. I've heard its screen is top-notch. What's your take? The screen on the Omron is indeed excellent. It's a large LCD with high contrast, big font, and a backlight. Even if your vision isn't perfect, you can easily read the results, and the screen won't let you down even in the dark. That's a game-changer for those who need to monitor their blood pressure at any time of the day. How about the interface? The interface on the Omron is also impressive. It's intuitive with large buttons and simple icons. You don't need to be tech-savvy to figure out how it works. The settings are straightforward and accessible, even for older adults or those who aren't particularly tech-oriented. Now let's talk about the Withings BPM Connect. I hear minimalism is its thing. Yes, Withings keeps it very simple. The screen is small but bright, displaying the key blood pressure readings. However, if you have poor eyesight, that could be an issue. The interface is extremely minimalist, just one control button. It's convenient, but to access all the features, you'll need a smartphone and the HealthMate app. On one hand, that's convenient, but on the other, it requires more setup with a phone. What about the Burr BM85? The Burr BM85 has a large screen with white backlighting and big digits, a great option for those who want clear visibility of their readings in any lighting condition. The interface is user-friendly, though it takes a bit of getting used to due to the many features. The buttons are logically placed and labeled, so after a few days, you'll feel at home with the device. Got it. So it's for those who don't mind spending a little time getting familiar with the settings. And how about the Bosch & Siemens Healthcare BDI 80? It seems like it's not all sunshine and rainbows there. Unfortunately, that's true. The screen on this model is small and lacks backlighting, making it harder to read in poor lighting. The interface is also less than ideal. The menu can be confusing and the indicators aren't very clear, which might cause frustration, especially for first-time users. That's disappointing, especially since Bosch and Siemens are usually associated with quality. Finally, we have the A&D Medical UA76C. What's your take on it? The A&D Medical UA767PBTC features a standard LCD with sufficiently large digits but no backlighting. The interface is simple and functional, but it does feel a bit dated. That doesn't mean it's bad, but modern users might find it lacks some of the extra features and customization options. I see, it's like an old reliable friend, easy to use, but without the bells and whistles. So, to sum it up, who's our leader when it comes to the screen and interface? Once again, the Omron Platinum BP5450 takes the top spot. It combines an excellent screen with an intuitive interface. The Burr BM85 is also worth considering, but it falls just short of the Omron in overall user-friendliness. Great, thanks Mary for your insights. Folks, we're not done yet. There's still plenty more to come, so stay tuned. We're continuing our discussion on blood pressure monitors, and now we're gonna to touch on a crucial topic, power supply. How does it affect the convenience of using the device? Mary, would you help us break it down? Absolutely, Chris. The power source of a blood pressure monitor directly impacts its ease of use, mobility, and longevity. It's important to understand how often you'll need to recharge or replace the batteries, especially if you're regularly monitoring your blood pressure. Exactly. So, let's take a closer look at some specific models and see what they offer. Let's start with the Omron Platinum BP5450. Mary, what's your take? The Omron Platinum BP5450 is powered by four AA batteries. This is a pretty standard setup, but as you might expect, it does require regular battery replacement if you use the device frequently. Hmm, that's not so convenient for those who want their monitor to be ready to use at all times without having to worry about batteries. And what about battery life on this model? You can get up to 1,000 measurements on a single set of batteries, which is decent, but it does mean you'll need to keep an eye on the battery level. If you need to check your blood pressure often, you'll end up changing batteries more frequently. Got it. But then we have the Withings BPM Connect, which runs on a built-in rechargeable battery. That sounds much more convenient, doesn't it? 
Absolutely. The Withings BPM Connect comes with a built-in rechargeable battery that charges via a USB cable. One charge lasts up to six months with daily use. This means users don't have to worry about frequent recharging or battery replacement. The device is always ready to go. Six months, that's really impressive. It seems like a perfect option for those who value mobility and simplicity. What about the Borer BM85? Does it also have a rechargeable battery? Yes, the Burr BM85 also runs on a built-in lithium-ion battery that charges via USB. But there's a catch. One charge only lasts for about 90 measurements. That's definitely less than the Withings BPM Connect and could be a drawback if you need to monitor your blood pressure frequently. That's quite a difference. 90 measurements could run out pretty fast if you're checking your blood pressure every day. What about the Bosch & Siemens Healthcare BDI-80? That's back to batteries, right? Yes, that's right. This model, like the Omron, uses four AA batteries. On the one hand, it provides around 1,000 measurements on a single set. But on the other hand, the lack of a built-in rechargeable battery and no backlit display might be less convenient for some users. Yeah, the absence of a rechargeable battery could definitely be a downside. But A&D Medical UA767PBTC offers something unique, doesn't it? Absolutely. The A&D Medical UA767PBTC can operate on both batteries and an AC adapter, though you'll have to purchase the adapter separately. This hybrid approach makes it versatile for use both at home and on the go. A great solution for those who don't want to rely solely on batteries. So, what's the verdict, Mary? Which model comes out on top for power options? When it comes to power features, the clear winner is the Withings BPM Connect. Six months without needing a recharge is incredibly convenient and economical, especially for those who regularly monitor their blood pressure. The Borer BM85 is also good, but its battery life falls short in comparison. That's great. Withings BPM Connect is the front runner in this category. Thanks, Mary, for such thorough and most importantly, easy to understand explanations. We're not done yet. Up next, we'll cover a very important aspect, the price of these blood pressure monitors. So stay tuned to find out which brand truly stands out in its class. Step by step, in this episode of Comparator, we've gradually arrived at the financial aspect of choosing the best premium blood pressure monitor. I'm Chris Fleming, and today in our studio, we have the fantastic medical device quality and safety expert, Mary Forgione. Mary, over to you. Thank you, Chris. It's always a pleasure to be here. Today, we're tackling a topic that's on the minds of many buyers, price and warranty. These are two key factors that often make or break the decision when choosing a blood pressure monitor. Absolutely. No one wants to overpay, but getting something unreliable for your money isn't a good option either. Let's dive right in. We have several models to review, and let's start with the Omron Platinum BP5450. What can you tell us, Mary? The Omron Platinum BP5450 is a premium device with prices ranging from $120 to $150, depending on the region. Yes, it's one of the pricier models, but here's something interesting. It comes with a six-year warranty. Six years, that's almost like a warranty for a car. Are the manufacturers really that confident in their product? Exactly. A long warranty period indicates that the company is confident in the quality and durability of its device. It's a strong selling point for the Omron Platinum, especially for those who are looking for a reliable and long-lasting solution. Impressive. What about the Withings BPM Connect? Is it cheaper? Yes, the Withings BPM Connect is a bit more affordable, priced around $100 to $130. This makes it more accessible, but the warranty is only two years. That's a standard period for most electronic devices, but compared to the Omron, it seems less substantial. Two years. For a premium product, that's not a lot. What about the Burer BM85? How does it stack up against the others? The Burer BM85 is a great middle ground between price and quality. It's priced at about $100 to $120 and comes with a five-year warranty. That's a solid offering for this category, making this blood pressure monitor very appealing in terms of price and performance. A great choice for those looking to save a bit, but still get decent quality. Now, 
Let's move on to the Bosch and Siemens Healthcare BDI-80. This one is one of the most affordable, right? Yes, the Bosch and Siemens Healthcare BDI-80 is priced between 90 and 110. This makes it one of the most affordable models, and it comes with a three-year warranty. Given the price, it's a well-balanced option that's perfect for those looking for good value for money. And finally, the AD Medical UATDC. Is this the most budget friendly option? Absolutely. This blood pressure monitor is priced around $80 to $100. Despite its lower price, it comes with a five year warranty. That's a great combination of affordability and longevity, which is sure to appeal to those who don't want to overpay but still want a device that will last. Sounds like a great find for anyone looking for an affordable yet reliable option. So what's our final verdict? Which blood pressure monitor should people choose? The Omron Platinum BP5450 definitely offers the best combination of a long warranty and high quality. If long-term reliability and support are important to you, it's the best choice. But if you're looking for a balance between price and quality, you might want to consider the Burr BM85 and A&D Medical UA767PBC. These models offer good warranty terms at a more accessible price point. Thanks, Mary, for the detailed breakdown. Now our listeners have a clear idea of which blood pressure monitor is right for them. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned as we summarize our discussion and choose the absolute champion among premium blood pressure monitors. All right, folks, this episode of Comparator where we don't just compare but choose the best of the best, is coming to its conclusion. With us in the studio today is Mary Forgioni, an expert in the quality and safety of premium medical devices. She has provided an excellent comparative analysis of five premium blood pressure monitors. Now, it's time to announce the winner of our comparison. Mary, the floor is yours. Thanks, Chris. It's always a pleasure to discuss, to discuss innovations in medicine, especially important devices like blood pressure monitors. Perfect. Just to recap, we had five premium models on the table today. Omron Platinum BP5450, Withings BPM Connect, Burr BM85, Bosch and Siemens Healthcare BDI80, and A&D Medical UA767PBTC. Let's quickly summarize each one based on their technical features. Let's start with accuracy. The Omron Platinum BP5450 is the talk of the town here. What makes it stand out? Omron definitely deserves attention for its advanced accuracy technology. It features a dual sensor that essentially checks itself. Data undergoes a double check. This significantly reduces the risk of error, making its results the most accurate among all the models we reviewed. So if I understand correctly, the other models can't quite compete with Omron in terms of accuracy. That's right. Omron sets the standard. The other devices are good, but they fall slightly short in this criterion. For example, Withings BPM Connect and Bosch and Siemens BDI-80 are accurate, but they don't have that level of double-check verification that Omron offers. Impressive. Now let's talk about cuffs. I know some models can be a hassle for people with different arm sizes. How do these devices handle that? Yes, that's an important point. Omron Platinum BP5450 and Bosch and Siemens BDI-80 lead the pack here. They come with cuffs that fit any arm size from 22 to 42 centimeters. This makes them much more convenient and versatile. That's a huge plus, especially if several people in the family are using the device. Now, let's move on to additional features. From what I understand, an arrhythmia detection feature is a must-have right? Absolutely. Most of the models we discussed have this feature, but Omron is the most advanced in this regard. However, Withings BPM Connect falls short. It doesn't have this feature, which definitely makes it less appealing for those who are monitoring heart health. What about automation? Are they all equally easy to use? Yes, all these models support automatic cuff inflation, which makes the measurement process very comfortable. In this regard, they're all on par. Great. What about synchronization with mobile devices? That's also a key factor for today's tech-savvy users. Definitely. Here, Omron and Withings really shine. Both have advanced synchronization capabilities, but Omron takes the lead due to its stable Bluetooth connection. Withings is appealing because it also uses Wi-Fi, but Omron has a slight edge in terms of stability. 
Okay, and finally, memory capacity. What can you say about that? Omron is ahead once again. It has a memory capacity of up to 200 readings for each of two users. That's significantly more than the competitors. If someone wants to track their readings over a long period, Omron is the best choice. So the winner is clear, Omron Platinum BP5450. Yes, absolutely. Omron combines top-notch accuracy, versatility, useful features, stable synchronization, and massive memory capacity. This makes it the best among the models we've reviewed. Its price ranges from $120 to $150 depending on the region, but trust me, it's worth every penny. So the Omron Platinum BP Fit 450 is our winner. But as always, the choice is yours, folks. Thanks, Mary, for your expert insights. Thank you, Chris, and thanks to all the listeners. This was really exciting. Thanks to everyone who tuned in, and a special thanks to those who stayed with us until the end of the episode. See you in the next edition of Comparator.